Hello everyone, me Mudahar, and welcome to another Troll Pasta video with me and my buddies. Uh, today we read a pretty <laughs> lengthy story, um, almost rivaling that of Bob.exe and uh, I Slightly Dislike You. Uh, this time it's pretty much an amalgamation of me and uh, numerous other YouTubers, and this one is called My Little Troll Pasta, uh, bearing no resemblance to a certain other franchise. So, uh, what does this one contain? Well, it's a pretty big clusterfuck, so you gotta listen up and uh, listen closely. But it's pretty fun to read, and, uh, and I hope it's pretty fun to listen to. So that being said, this is My Little Troll Pasta. Hope you enjoy. It all began when I was at home one day. I was in my bedroom masturbating to the erotic fanfiction I wrote. Mr. Clean, Mudahar, Brutal Moose, Markiplier, the Angry Video Game Nerd, Angry Joe, and several creepypasta characters like Sonic.exe, Aoni, Slenderman, and Nick Cage. Nicolette's Cage is a creepypasta character? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I shouted, bouncing my tiny pogo stick up and down furiously. <laughs> the, the, the imagery, man. All right, give it up, give it to me, up the butt, Moodle. I was just about to finish when I heard a loud tapping of the window. I looked over and saw Sonic.exe staring at me through the glass. He had the same sinister look he always had, with hyper-realistic blood and all. At first, I stopped and stared in horror, but after approximately 9.764 seconds, I conveniently had a stopwatch in my hand at the time! Don't judge me! Oh! Oh. I got really aroused again and resumed my fapping. Sonic.exe's expression changed from demented to disgusted. He smashed his head through the window and entered my room. Are you here to take my butt virginity? Wait, okay, we gotta, like, switch up the dialogue here, okay? So, um... Connor, you're the second. Alright, are you here to take my butt virginity? I asked, still going at it like a coked out monkey. With it, I drank a six pack of Monster and inhaled Spanish fly up his butthole. Ew. Sonic okay. WXC shielded his eyes with his hands. No, I'm here to kill you and take your soul. He let out a Kefka laugh as he drew his hands to the side. Sounds kinky. I'm always up for kinky stuff. I rebounded enthusiastically. God damn it, no. He, sh <laughs> he shouted, shielding his vision again. Stop doing that and put some damn pants on. But I'm not done yet! I frowned. He pointed his finger at me, giving me <laughs> the same demented look from before. When I'm done with you, that will be the last of your worries. Now prepare to... Now let's finish the sentence, burps. What is the last word? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kyle, what's the last word? <laughs> Let's 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 play the game. Do, do, do. It's called suck. Uh, anyways, before he could finish, <laughs> part of the roof collapsed, sending debris and dust in the air. Hey! I shouted, shaking my fist and Hennis into the air. If it's those goddamn aliens again, knock it off. I'm sick of you guys busting in during solo schmexy times. Even if you guys are good at ass play. This is the third roof I replaced <laughs> this month, and the price of duct tape is skyrocketing like gas prices these days. When the dust settles, before... Me stood six men. I immediately recognized them as Mudahar, Brutal Moose, Markiplier, the AVGN, Angry Joe, and Scott, the guy from Canada who's a giant dick. <laughs> Not so fast, Sonic.exe, Mudahar shouted boldly. We're here to... He stopped and shifted his gaze over to me, still completely <laughs> nude. <laughs> immediately, he rinsed in disgust, <sighs> turning his head away. The other guys quickly did the same. Oh boy! I explained, bouncing on my bed like a horny schoolgirl. This is just like my erotic fan fiction. You guys showed up too early, though. Sonic.exe hasn't mounted me yet. Sonic.exe's gaze shifted over to me <laughs> with a horrified look, like he was about to throw up. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard, and believe me, I know disgusting. Enough! Angry Joe boomed. We've been tracking you, Sonic.exe, and we're here to end you once and for all. Sonic.exe took to the air floating through the gaping hole that was once my fucking roof. <laughs> gaping hole. <laughs> Cut <laughs> Oh, yeah. Never mind. Oh. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Foolish mortals. Did you really think I would come here alone? With that, he let out another Kefka laugh and as he thrust his hands up high. The ground shook violently, sending my collection of dildos, vibrators, and <laughs> anal beads bouncing off the <laughs> 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 the horizon of dark. Oh, and shit. And figure emerged from the depths of techno hell and stared down at us with hollow black eyes. It was red from the Godzilla NES creepypasta. Alright, Kyle, you go read. 
With a deep frown, his mouth opened to reveal a completely black, hyper-realistic void. How something can be hyper-realistic if it's completely back black, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> but it's my story, so shove it. For some what? reason, Darude's sandstorm was <laughs> <playing> <laughs> the background that made sense seeing as how he had just escaped from techno hell. Woodhar steeled himself. There's no way we can defeat him, unless... He threw his fists up in the air, sort of how Richard Nixon did in that one picture or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Super Ultra Mega 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 Zord, go! He boomed as lightning struck at his feet. <laughs> the six of, six of them began transforming into a giant fighting robot while the, the mighty f- orphan power... <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I see this picture right now. <laughs> no, I'm looking at the picture. <laughs> the transformation took approximately 2.666 hours 69.420 minutes and 5.8 <laughs> boobs seconds, during which I had time to go take a dump off the side. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god. I had time to go take a dump off the side of the super oh power, order a cheeseburger from the nearest shoe store, and write another ill conceived seven part erotic fan fiction starring the Justice Friends, Sailor Moon, and the entire cast of the Red Green Show. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> when the super ultra mega 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 zord was finished transforming it was in the shape of the most generic looking giant robot you could ever see Ludahar was in cro- control of the head AVGN in the right arm Markiplier in the left arm my fapping arm incidentally Brutal Moose in the right leg Angry Joe in the left leg and J- Scott the giant dick in the giant dick between the legs <laughs> what the fuck you, you got two dicks in one leg what the fuck a giant robot. Oh, wait, Ace, go. Oh, the giant robot moved his hand down to the giant robotic dick. <laughs> <laughs> you fart loving trickster, I take care of you. Scott the giant dick. Oh, he does the same voice. With, with a firm stroke, Fireball splooged out the enormous penis and hit red directly <laughs> <in his> face. <laughs> Talk about a money shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. While humiliating, the attack did little damage to him. I am from Techno Hell. Wait, I'm from Techno Hell. I have a natural immunity to fire, dumbasses. He bellowed. His cl- his claw came down and slashed the robot in the chest, sending it back a few steps. I'm pretty sure I heard it step on my neighbor's houses, killing them instantly. But we could bring them back by stroking the seven dragons. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Uh, the Megazord regained its footing. Do we have someone for Markiplier reading? For that, or we just no, you just go for it. Go for it. to radioactive missiles. Markiplier, <laughs> Markiplier exclaimed. <laughs> the robot rebeated its dick. What? I'm sending a volley of explosive warheads at the enemy. Red shrieked in horror as they collided with his face. No, radioactive missiles. <laughs> my only weakness. Oh, baby, in trouble. Cover- <laughs> go ahead, go. He covered his face as Scott prepared to fire again. Fire, but nothing happened. To the dismay, they were out of ammo. How can we be out of ammo already? They need, that, they, need, they need those seven Dragon Balls. I think we used most of it to annihilate that little kid that was ringing your doorbell and called you a dried up cunt. Oh, that's what from a video I made! Oh my god! Blue Moose replied, What the fuck? This is like mixing pig shit with porcupine needles and sticking your face in it, AVGN protested. <laughs> Realizing their unfortunate situation, Red retaliated. He ran into the Megazord, sending it failing into the ground. Poised over it, he was ready to make a killing blow. A lot of guys say I'm good at kill- giving killer blows, but whatever. Back to the story. Did you really think you could defeat me? Rest charged his laser beam. I will become the Lord of Techno Hell. He was just about to fire when he sniffed the air and immediately stopped. His hands raised to cover his non existent nose. Ah! What's that god awful smell? I glanced behind him, realizing I had released a noxious, hyper realistic brown cloud from my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Fuck. Sorry, I've been eating nothing but three hot pocket meals a day. Red cringe in horror. No! Hot pocket farts! My only weakness! <laughs> Burbs, come on, man. The Megazord got back on its feet. Markiplier quickly scooped me up and dropped me into an open hatch in the robot where I was trapped to a table with the tubes wrapped around my ass. Who's gonna read that part? Sorry. Now fought! No. Fought like the wind breaking and you have no fear of what other people think. Markiplier ex- <laughs> exclaimed. 
with all my might. I let out the most repulsive fart I could. I pushed so hard my shit dis <laughs> and turned to a dark brown cloud. The Megazord pumped its dick once last time before fl firing a haze of shit brown upon red. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he screeched in agony oh my as the God. fart burned away his flesh and bone. Soon he was nothing but a heap of smelly remains in front of in, in my front yard. Shot it that EXE had a look of oh yeah. agitation. Mm -hmm. Agitation on him. Connery. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Sonic. Oh. You may have won this round, but I'll be back. And with that, he let out a third Kefka laugh before teleporting away. We <laughs> we exited the Megazord. They were inside Grateful. him. Huh? They were inside him. <laughs> <laughs> we exited the Megazord. Grateful it was over for now. I, stu I stood before them, still naked, by the way. <laughs> Wait, he was naked for two hours? With what? A, what? <laughs> with a big grin on my stupid face. Now what comes the, the best. <laughs> now comes the best part of my erotic fanfic. This is where you guys all take turns, but but faking me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well at least we're not this isn't sexual. All of them shook their heads, protesting in disgust. Not after what I <laughs> just saw coming out of your ass, Angry Joe exclaimed, waving the stink away from his face. What a shame, because I was going to watch the essential Nicolas Cage collection, Extreme Action, Extra Cheese, Double Dip, 360 No Scope Edition, I responded. Holding the box set of hyper-realistic HD, HD DVDs in my hand. Fuck me. All of them got excited after mentioning it. May as well stay for a while, Mudahar sighed. Besides, I'm too lazy to go back home, even though it takes literally 9, 2.946 seconds to teleport back. He bent down and picked up a pair of pants from the grounds, but for God's sakes, put some damn pants on. All the guys, nice. all the guys huddled in front of the TV as Nicolas Cage's recent hit movie, National Treasure Six Six Six, the Cage and Play. <laughs> you know the one where he goes back in time, killing historical U.S. figures like Washington and Franklin to become the sixth member of the Ginyu Force. The <laughs> I'm done. I'm fucking done, man. The scene with Cage and Abraham Lincoln's dildo saber duel was playing. Oh my god. Four score and seven years ago, I kicked your great great grandmother's ass, and I'm gonna kick yours as well. Lincoln spoke confidently. Like hell you are, Cage replied. I'm sick of being your second banana. Now I end you, cause I don't Whoa. give a fuck. He swung his dildo saber, cutting off the top of Lincoln's oversized hat. No! <laughs> Lincoln cried, falling to his knees. What you say? Nicholas Cage turned to face the cameras, striking a Ginyu Force pose with the words, Your winner flashed on screen. They haven't been reaching for sequel material, haven't they? Markiplier stated. No fucking shit, AVG replied. This is a load of punky balls. This is bullfuck. <laughs> I proceeded into the room, dressed in a skimpy nurse outfit. What? Okay. Ah, okay, ASU, continue reading. None of them seemed to notice, as they were too absorbed in the movie, playing on the 69-inch flat-screen, ultra-high-definition 3D TV. So, who's going first? I said in a geeky, unsexy voice. Wait, no, let me do it in a geeky, unsexy voice. So, who's gonna go first? <laughs> I said in a geeky, unsexy voice. None of them looked away from the TV for even a moment. Brutal <laughs> moose, my butt yearns for you. Without looking away from TV, he replied, Sorry, but you didn't perform the no underpants <laughs> properly. Act oh my god. What about you, AVGN? <laughs> Again, without looking away, he said, Yeah, right. I'd rather dance naked in the park while getting a hand job from a rabid goat. <laughs> Feeling depressed, I tried once more. Market player? Shut, Shut up, up, nurse! <laughs> oh, he shouted. He reached out and gave me a pride obliterating stitch slap. <laughs> oh! Oh! Because my hope on the avatar! My sadness was quickly replaced with arousal. Just like in my erotic fan fiction. I squealed oh my excitement. <laughs> now you have to slap my ass. I turned around and lifted up my mini skirt. Right, I feel like somebody who wrote this is getting some like sexual like desires out of this. <laughs> oh and simultaneously vomited hyper realistically. <laughs> Taking it as a sign they weren't up for much sex. I walked into the kitchen in a huff. I stared <laughs> down at my hand. 
Uh, looks like, like it's just you and me again. I sobbed. I looked back up, and to my surprise, saw the Slender Man standing oh, God. before me. One of the tentacles. Oh, tentacles no, no, oh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh my god, I looked across the room to find Aoni. Oh my god. Aoni standing there. Slenderman stopped spanking me and glanced over, locking his non existent eyes with the blue monsters. S wait. Oh god. Whoa. Slenderman, my love! The Aoni spoke. <laughs> Slenderman's tentacle dropped me as the two ran into each other's arms. Wet, slobbering <laughs> noises. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Out like two horny teens at the drive in theater. <laughs> <laughs> I got back up and ran towards them. Hey, no fair! I wasn't finished yet! <laughs> I shouted. Before I could reach them, they both teleported away. Dude, what is this? Like the fucking porno creepy This is thing? interesting. I sat down on the floor as Markiplier ran into the room. Are you okay? He asked. I looked up at him with a giant... I love how we gave Markiplier like 45 voices so far. <laughs> I looked up at him with a giant frown. Well, I was. Slenderman was going to tentacle rape me, but Al Oni showed up and ruined it for me. What? Oh, you butthurt, bro? Yeah, but not in the way I want to be. <laughs> oh, 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 Markiplier knelt down beside me. That, that's okay, because I love you. Really? No, because I love you. Really? You really mean that? That's right. I've been waiting my entire life for you. Oh, God. No way, man. That has to be the corniest romance line I've ever heard. But I don't care. I leaned in to make out with him and get super preggered. But he stopped me. <laughs> super preggered. <laughs> oh, You're shit. My love, there's just one thing I have to confess. He stood back up. I'm not really Markiplier. I'm actually oh. Brutal Moose. He ripped his skin off to reveal Brutal Moose. <laughs> Brutal Moose suddenly appeared in the room. And I'm actually Mudahar. He ripped his skin off to reveal Mudahar. <laughs> Mudahar appeared next. I'm actually AVGN! Again, ripping off skin to reveal AVGN. AVGN appeared to reveal himself to be angry. What the fuck? And we drew reveal himself as Markiplier. Scott the giant dick came in last. And I'm actually Bill Nye the science guy. We fucking did it. <laughs> uh, okay. I can deal with it. Okay, well, okay. somebody take hey, over. So, so, somebody take over. Oh, Jesus God. Christ. Somebody he take over. his skin away, but instead of revealing Bill Nye, it was just a skeleton. Spooky he scary. He began running around screaming and stuffing occasionally to let out a radioactive fart. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the doorbell rang. I ran to the door to see who it was. Outside was a FedEx truck with the driver standing in front of it with a rock. He gave it an overhand toss through my window. Free shipping, motherfucker, he shouted, throwing up a West Side gang sign as he walked back to his truck. <laughs> Take it over, guys. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I grabbed the rock and upon, and upon closer inspection, it had a letter attached to it with what appeared to be someone else's, someone's intestines. Too spooky for me. <laughs> Has intestines gone too far? I unraveled it and opened the letter. It appeared to be written in hyper-realistic blood. This this is a literal copy-paste of the letter. Dear pathetic mortals, I challenge you to come and try and defeat me. Insert capsicle. Oh, is this... Ha, 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 Okay. <laughs> then I'll do it as... I, I, know, I know you're too frail to defeat me. Insert capsicle F here. <laughs> Soon I'll kill you all and torture your souls for all eternity. <laughs> I'll be waiting at Lake Mosmerkerfjordis in Finland. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Come over if you dare. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. God, stop smoking. That barn smoke from Jeff the Killer. Fuck you, Burps. <laughs> Man, does he have some good shit. <laughs> wonder where he gets it. I heard he gets it from John with a hut and tattoo. Oh, my I'm God. I'm not sure. Wait. Since, since when did I have blood coming out of my eyes? Oh, shit. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> this is literally a bad trip. Game over, man. Game over. What's <laughs> 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 the best sound of that guy? <laughs> oh, wait. 
I'm okay now. Just had gas from that chili dog I ate. Well, anyways, come to Finland and stuff, and we can have a tea party and plug pin the anal plug on the homosexual. <laughs> good times, man. <laughs> good times. Oh, well. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Barbara Key's smiley face. Sign, <laughs> sign, <laughs> what the answer. fuck? P.S. I wrote this in red marker because I couldn't find my favorite ink pen. I think the happy math salesman keeps stealing it. If you ever come down to Techno Hill, keep your pens in a secure place. Preferably up your ass. He never looks there. P.P.S. I'm sorry about the broken window. And you know how post people can, postal people can be. Man, talk about scary shit that haunts your nightmares. Whoa, gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Scott the Giant Dick Screaming was getting on our nerves. AVGN, formerly known as Mudahar, grabbed the staple gun sitting on the table for some reason and stapled Scott's skin back together. What? <laughs> I showed the letter to the others, and we all agreed we had to take Sonic EXE head on. But how did we get there? Mudahar, formerly Brutal Moose, asked. I'm too lazy to teleport us to Finland, and I'm not getting on no damn airplane. That's okay, I replied. My house is really you. A UFO that landed here years ago? I clapped my hands two times, and the house rose from the ground. I have the clapper installed. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off, the clapper. I clapped twice more to Finland as we sped off, igniting the night sky with bitchin' green flames. <laughs> when we arrived in Finland, we parked the UFO house on one side of Lake Magdalena. I'm not going to pronounce that. We exited the house and looked around the lake. Floating above the water was none other than Sonic EXE, who had his hands inside a double diabetes-sized bag of Doritos. <laughs> All right, Sonic Daddy XE, Mudahar called out. We here to it. We're here to accept your challenge. Prepare to die, Sonic, Sonic da Daddy. Oh. oh wait, wait, go, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Sonic Daddy XE gazed at us with glass, glass over her eyes, then waved at us. Oh, hi guys, are you here for the tea party? <laughs> we looked at each other in confusion. No, Angry Joe snapped. We're going to kill you. Sonic Daddy XE didn't react very much. Hey man, that's not cool. I just wanted to hang out with you and have some fun. No need to be a buzzkill. Can you please be a voice actor for Sonic Boom? <laughs> <laughs> Realizing you must have been as high as a 737 airplane that just hit the nitro and was leaving the atmosphere and heading off to deep space, I pulled his letter out from my pocket. You sent us to us, remember? He descended and grabbed the letter from his Doritos-dusted fingers. Reading it carefully, his eyes widened. Oh, shit, that's right. If I didn't take care of this, shit, shit, shit. All right, give me a moment. He teleported away, then returned with a can of Red Bull in his hand. He cracked it open and chugged the uh, heart attack-inducing sludge inside. Why did you need a Red Bull? Markiplier asked. Sonic.exe finished, finished the drink and crushed the can with his forehead like a major league gamer should. Because it gives me wings, motherfucker! He instantly returned to the saddest stick being he once was. He let out a Kefka laugh. Seriously, again with the overused Kefka laugh? Whatever. He ascended up over the lake. You may have defeated Red before, but now I have a way to destroy you all. Yeah, Very right. <laughs> yeah, right, bitch. You can suck my ass if you think you can defeat us, AVGN taunted. Stupid mortals, do you know what lurks inside this lake? Allow me to show you. Lightning flew from his fingertips and into the water. Suddenly, the lake began to ripple violently. A platform rose from the depths, and it stood five figures? Okay. On all five figures, sorry. I recognized them as the death metal band Death Clock. Oh, my God. And immediately broke out in the song playing Awaken. Awaken, Awaken, take me, take me, take the line that must be taken. Nathan, explosion. Okay, somebody else fucking continue. This, my brain is melted. Say <laughs> if the lake shook violently again. Oh, wait, Kyle, you want to do this? Sure. Good. Nathan, explosion, saying as the lake shook violently again. A giant red troll like creature emerged from the center of the lake. It was none other, none other than Mustakrakish. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. The lake is called Mustakrakish, and the troll's name is Mustakrakish? Brilliant obs observation, douchebag. Mustakrakish began making its way towards us. Mudahar steals himself. There's no way we can defeat him unless... He threw his fists up in the air. Sort of how Richard Nixon did. Oh, wait, it's the same one? Whatever. Super Ultra Mega 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 Sword Go. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same thing, Jesus. He boomed, but instead of transforming into the Super Ultra Mega Mega Megazord, nothing happened. What the fuck? Why won't it work? Brutal Moose turned him, turned to him. Mudahar, don't you remember we can only transform once per episode? Our budget for this <laughs> troll power is only two dollars and a few Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Well, damn it! Now we're gonna be stuck in a corner and die. Actually, I'm all out of time. So thank you. 
all so much for watching. Click on the annotation for more videos that I've done. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, Markiplier Sputtered. Oh, I almost thought that was like my outro. What the fuck? <laughs> for this, <laughs> before running back inside the UFO house. Um, wait. I remember this episode of Metalocalypse. I exclaimed, "My death phone! I, <laughs> my death phone! I need to throw it at that guy!" I reached into my pocket and grabbed the death phone that I got from Toki Wartooth. After he took my first butt virginity, I spun it around my head and threw it with all my might. I flew through the air and landed a pathetic two feet in front of us. Damn it! And I had been training for the Special Olympics all. So what? All summer, I shuddered in frustration. But there is one thing we can try, Angry Joe pointed out. You don't mean, Mudahar replied. Yes, yes. <laughs> Somebody continue. Without yes. any warning, we all broke into a ritualistic rendition of Fuck the Police. <laughs> the clouds above I'm done. parted as a gigantic butt descended from the heavens, hovering over the side of the lake. A giant pair of detached hands appeared and grabbed the butt cheeks, pulling them apart to reveal a hyper-realistic anus. A 15-story tall figure shot out, shot out the butt with a tiny pfft sound. <laughs> the stick figure had his eyes crossed and his tongue sticking out. Oh, and he was also a mecha-Nazi, <laughs> in case you were wondering. It was Big Di It was Big Dick Rick and the protagonist from Big Dick Rick's magical Nazi unicorn rainbow adventure, the board game, the movie, the video game. <laughs> BDR. <laughs> the Big Dick Rick raised his arm in in Nazi hell position. What the fuck? Hitler, savior of the realm of Corno. He bellowed, for his dick erected to become parallel with his arm, <laughs> striking his trademark pose from the game. Oh shit! Must have cracked his panic. A loud. <laughs> Noise came, emanated from his back side, indicating <laughs> he just shit himself. He turned around and started to flee in pure pants ruining terror before he could get very far. Big Big Dick Rick performed a super Nazi Kamehameha wave, ejecting from the <laughs> ejecting him from the known universe and into a random black hole that led into the ninth dimension, ruled by the giant monkey men, as well as destroying half the universe in the process. We're really going to have to stroke the seven Dragon Balls good if we're going to undo all this collateral damage. <laughs> hey, no fair. That's that's clearly hacking, Sonic.exe shouted, stealing a line from the Bob.exe troll pasta. Oh, plagiarism! <laughs> One that's superior to the pile of goat dookie and butt cheeks. What's, what's the matter, scrub? I, ta I taunted. You scrub dude Uninstalled the game. Get, Get wrecked, wrecked, mate. mate. <laughs> Sonic that EXE thrust, thrust his hand in the air. You'll suffer at the hands of my pansy. What? Pansy, pansy is, I don't even know. Pansy. <laughs> wait, hold on. Storm. No, wait, go ahead, go ahead. Storm clouds gathered above us as the lake's water turned into hyperrealism. <laughs> Another oh, no. Another quick twitch stolen from a, a much better troll pasta. I slightly dislike you. The seamen swirled yeah, hate you around too. the lake as the sounds of the toilet of the toilet flushing were heard. When the lake was completely drained, a skeleton popped out. But instead of being a skeleton, I recognized it as a cyber demon from the classic <laughs> the cyber demon was slightly altered though it was about three times bigger than a normal cyber demon and it had the gayest pink palette swap you could ever behold imagine. my perfectly assimilated cyber demon of sweet yaoi it has a hundred times the normal health of a cyber demon and can fire 10,000 rockets per second making the player's game lag at about 0.00420 frames per second he let out <laughs> Ah, <sighs> another Kefka laugh as he hovered over the pansy's shoulder. Oh, come on. I rebut, um, rebutted. You just scaled up a normal cyber demon sprite and gave it a putrid palette swap. It's not original or even clever for that matter. Zero out of ten. Do not want too much water. I gave him two tum thumbs down. Sonic EXE grew furious. Shut up, I'm the most lead doom water out there is. And plus, I slept with your mother last night. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your mom.
<laughs> BDR. And the pansy began fighting as other doom monsters teleported in around us. I love how we've all just disappeared. There's too many. We're going to have to call in some support. Oh, wait, no. Mudahar exclaimed. He reached for his cell phone and dialed a number. Hello? Leonardo DiCaprio? We need your help. Oh, yeah, I know that it's Taco Tuesday, but... Well, I don't see how that pertains in this conversation. Just get over here, and we'll go out for ice cream later. Okay, bye. The, in the instant he hung up, Leonardo DiCaprio teleported in, tea-fragging, telefragging several of the demons at once. But even with DiCaprio's help, we were soon overwhelmed. It's no use. We have to retreat, Joe shouted. Suddenly, I remembered that I still had one more trick up my sleeve. I pulled out a remote control with a single big red button on it. Oh, man, better not be Sonic Boom. We can win this. I have one last trump card, at least until the author decides that I mysteriously have another one. I pushed the button, and an alarm sounded. The words, warning, Ninja Grandma engaged, flashed before us as an old lady came crashing down from the sky. She wielded a pair of nunchucks made from an old person's walker. Wah! She busted out, spinning her nunchucks around and knocking her demons in a ten-foot radius around her. She then sprang at one of them as it was fleeing. She released her war cry, hoping for one enemy, hopping from one enemy to the next. It took a mere 3.14 minutes, negative, by the way, before all demons were dead. At this point, Big Dick Rick had, un had utterly demolished the pansy, leaving only... That sounds so wrong. Leaving only Sonic.exe remaining. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Minutes of planning ruined! He shouted in complete frustration. Markiplier exit the UFO house and fly down. Ah, much better. Did I miss anything? Sonic EXE pointed at him and sent a bolt of lightning from his fingertip. Markiplier was horribly electrocuted and fell to the ground dead. Ooh. I stared at the lifeless body, eyes tearing up. Markiplier, my love. My sadness was quickly replaced with ang er. <laughs> I know. I threw my fist to the side as Vegeta's Super Saiyan theme played in reverse at 66.6 .6 speed. I will avenge you. I will survive. I shouted, and in a flash of light, I transformed into a Super Saiyan 9001. Oh. Sonic oh! Sonic .exe reeled back in horror. Impossible! I quickly took to the air, charging straight at him. I gave him a swift and almighty kick to the weenie, and he was then flying around the entire world and collided headfirst into my fist. How are you so powerful? He demanded. I pointed down at my crotch. I masturbate. A lot. <laughs> He attempted to sucker punch me, but I caught his fist before it made contact. I'm sorry, Richie. You were strong and cool. Please don't kill me. Suck my dick, Artard! I replied, throwing him up into the stratosphere. I then began charging a large energy blast. Special beam spirit bomb. Hamehameha. I released the energy beam, completely disintegrating him. I descended back to the ground. Markiplier suddenly appeared out of nowhere, completely alive and healthy. Everyone was taken aback with shock. But we thought you were dead, Mudahar explained. Markiplier smiled and put his hands to his hips. I was, but I was brought back to life. Thanks, Obama. I'm done. <laughs> Kyle. Work it, Kyle. Ka Kyle died. All right. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Ace, take it over. Take he it over. so black. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a giant wormhole opened up and sucked us all in. The tunnel was lined with countless... <laughs> okay. Countless <laughs> together like a lava lamp. <laughs> I was immediately reminded of that time I injected heroin and cocaine straight into my balls. <laughs> what the fuck? As we traveled through, we heard Darude sandstorm again. <laughs> there was only one thing. We were going to techno hell. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Two breaths, Bucky. <laughs> Last part. Finish the vision. Uh, when we arrived in Techno Hell, we were dropped into a giant room with green radioactive goo falls. I realized this looked exactly like the final boss room in Doom 2. Only the goat head skull thing was missing. In its place hovered the gigantic severed head of Dun 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 John Romero. <laughs> you have survived all my deadly plans for you, the head spoke. You've defeated Red, Monster Crackish, and even Sonic.exe, and now it's time for you to die. So Scott, the giant dick, grew enraged. Hey, why'd you bring us here, you fart huffa? I just told you, I'm going to kill you. So you're going to kill us for killing your minions? You're a dick. No, you're a dick. You're a dick. No, dude, I'm John Romero, Lord of Techno. You're a giant dick. At least I have a dick. Oh, Chad's fired one view on me on Twitter. Let's start hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. 
Yep, I'll take it from here. Romero fired an I beam at Scott's feet, sending him falling on his back. Then he then opened his mouth and demons flew out. We all picked up guns from an over overly convenient pile of guns in the center of the room and scattered. We were holding <laughs> them off rather easily until we ran out of ammo. We're out of ammo, Brutal Moose stated, feeling the need to reiterate what I had just said in the previous sentence. I pulled up I pulled up the cheat console. Don't worry guys, I got this. I typed in the cheat ID IDKFA. Doom. I was only greeted with SV cheat <laughs> use this command. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was brilliant! Holy shit! Idiot. Did you really think I was going to let you use cheats here? We realized we were facing our imminent doom. Cleaver! Just the game's title. Uh, oh god! The demons closed in on us. Is this the closest I'm going to get to my first gangbang? I shot. <laughs> the demons launched a fireball at us, but another demon got in the line of fire. The demon immediately turned around and began clawing away at the one that had hit it. In sooth, both were killing each other. Suddenly, I had an idea. I jumped a good 20 feet into the air like Super Mario, sound effect and everything. Up and over the enemies encircling us, they gave chase all the while firing missiles, fire balls, balls of plasma, blobs of plasma, explosive ice cream cones, hairspray cans, urinal cakes, extra <laughs> urinal cakes, used condoms, you name it, and they shot it at me. Just as I had anticipated, they ended up hitting each other instead beginning the most epic and arousing monster and fighting match I've ever seen. Romero watched in both anger and confusion. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Stop that right now. I'm serious. You guys, seriously. You guys, seriously. Pretty cosmic. But his bickering did no good. <gasps> it's all dead. I am the greatest, I shouted, and I will dance to for no reason. I broke out performing the Napoleon Dynamite dance. All Romero grew furious. You haven't won yet. I still have my secret weapon. Mwah, 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 ha, 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 ha. The generic techno music played in the background stopped and was replaced with tween pop bullshit. We cringe as we all recognize the song. Justin Bieber's baby. The music pulsed through our body like radiation. I fell to my knees, hands shaking. He looked down at me with soft eyes, placing his hand on uh, top of my head. You're a naughty girl, aren't you? Whoa, whoa, uh, uh. He spoke in a sexy undertone. I grasped my legs for support. As I moved my lips closer and closer until finally... Oh, wait, wrong document. <laughs> uh, anyways, you're we all on the ground and hurting and stuff. I could feel my heart beating, and it was uh, sore.exe. <laughs> Just then a thought came to me. I stood back up and looked at Romero. I must know one thing before I died. What's that? He replied. If you're a decapitated head, how are you still alive? I mean, it's scientifically impossible for heads to survive very long without a body, so what gives? The music came to a screeching halt. Romero's face grew uneasy. I never thought about it. I just assumed it was natural. Suddenly the room began shaking violently. Romero seemed to be fading out. Look what you have done! You have broken the transdimensional rift! Now it will no longer exist! He grew more transparent with each passing moment. With his last breath, he muttered his final words. My only regret is... <coughs> Die, Katana! And with that, he faded out of existence. The room was falling apart at this point. Large chunks of the ceiling came crashing down and splashed into the pool of radioactive goop. We have to get out of here, Mudhar explained, pointing to the portal at the top of the room. We climbed over the piles of dead demons and up to the top. Just when we were about to bolt for the portal, the ceiling above crumbled, first tiny particles and large chunks. We ran for it as the entire ceiling collapsed, leaping into the portal. Did our heroes make it out alive? Will the world ever get back to normal? Will Leonardo DiCaprio ever get his ice cream as promised? Who the hell is responsible for writing the atrocity? All these questions and more will be answered in the DLC pack available to download for twenty nine ninety nine ninety five sorry per part or hundred and thirty for the whole pack season pass. Link to the awesome DLC that is totally worth it. Oh my god. Wow. What the fuck did we just read, guys? Is there more? Holy Okay, the the, the DLC isn't that long. We woke up in a pitch woke. black room, pressed wall to wall with each other. Our bodies were sore and tired, and we struggled to breathe in the cramped confinements. Did we make it? Are we Are dead? We dead? <laughs> <laughs> did someone asked, but I couldn't tell who it was exactly. I think we're in purgatory. Ass! Yes. Suddenly, something broke the silence all around us. A loud 
sound emanated from the center of the room. Without any warning, we were so thrown in all directions by a mysterious explosion. Gee, I wonder what that could be. So hard to figure it out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Looking up into the sky, confirmed we lay, we were in some sort of forested area at night. I gazed from side to side, spotting what remained of what I assumed to be the room we were in. Floating blocks of wood planks dotted the area above the small crater. Looks like someone built a shitty Minecraft house in the middle of the woods, I stated. I walked up and repeatedly punched one of the wood blocks, only for it to crumble and fall to my feet. I picked it up and put it in my front middle pocket. Giggity. <laughs> well, what now? Haha, <laughs> the wood in the fire, I get it. Well, what now? Markiplier asked. Well, now, the way my erotic fanfiction ended was all of you gangbang me. I grew giddy. In sync, they all shook their hands and looked so sort of disgust. <sighs> Let's find our way out of here. I still want my damn ice cream, DiCaprio spoke. So as we set off in the random direction, eventually coming up to a public park, there, DiCaprio pointed to an ice cream stand that was still open at the time for some reason. Dude, do I think this is some, like, deleted scene from, like, Inception? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, good. I wasn't the only one. <laughs> Two clerks and a big-headed cat-looking thing waited on a woman dressed in black with long blonde hair. We lined up as a clerk spoke. Excuse me, the female clerk Excuse spoke. Excuse me. Okay, you can be the female clerk. <laughs> know what you'd uh, mm -hmm. like just yet? Blonde hair? Oh, God, there's like 50 new characters. Every one of them looks great. <laughs> the blonde haired woman replied. I'll be the cat. Then try them all. And knock yourself out. The big headed cat suggested. But where would I put them all? She rebuttaled. It was the clerks were getting visually visibly nervous at this point. The blonde woman suddenly bursts out. I know, I'll take a triple cone with chocolate, strawberry, and cookies and cream. The people behind the counter quickly made the cone and handed it to the lady with a thank you. Oh wait, thank you. She turned thank to us. Thank you. <laughs> 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 somewhere. She, I could, but couldn't put my finger on it. Do I know you from somewhere? I asked. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> DiCaprio Di got in front of the counter, ready to give his order, but the clerks turned around and walked away exhausted. <clears throat> That was an interesting way to spend an entire day, one of them commented. DiCaprio clenched his fists and began throwing a fit like a two-year-old. He punched and kicked the ice cream stand in a rage. Then he kicked the random propane tank sitting on the ground. The cart exploded, sending chunks of metal and ice cream upwards. We were plastered with every kind of flavor. Rocky Road, Mint Berry Crunch, Stone yeah. Elf Crunch, Hardboard Crunch, Morning Wood, <laughs> <laughs> and even Mike, Michael, Michael Flatley flavor. <laughs> Looked up at the sky as a large blob of white ice cream landed on my face. <laughs> white cream! Oh, yeah. White cream landed on my face. Won't be the first time I've been hit in the face with white stuff. Ooh. I smiled. <laughs> Shit, the fuck! <laughs> <laughs> cried out. Well, what do we do now? Mudo R asked. Blobs of banana erection tripping from his hat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Suddenly, we heard rumbling and mechanical whirring off in the distance. We stood there as it grew louder and louder. But then we saw what was making all the noise. An AT-AT -AT walker from Star Wars aiming its chin cannon straight at us. Cliffhanger ending. OMG, so edgy. Alright, part 6 DLC. And then we all made out and I got super preggers. The end. <laughs> part 7 DLC. Then nine months later a skeleton popped out. Part 8. And then the skeleton put on a top hat and cane and started uh, dancing to Hello my baby, hello, hello my honey, hello my, my ragtime right time gal. gal. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, fuck. That was an aura deal. What did we read? I think this was more of a, uh, more of somebody's expression of their sexual fantasy this than it was a troll post. If I ever yeah, what the fuck? I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell, I'll tell you something right now, man. This, this person definitely had a, uh, pretty detailed description. They had something going for you, man. They did. They had something going for a lot of us. Uh, but, I'll, fuck, I don't even know, man. It's it's wonderful. I'll say one thing. Like, what? I like the it. DLC was worth the money. I'd, 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 I'd rate the whole thing like a, a straight gay out of gay because, like, it was very cool and I enjoyed everything. And I was very happy reading it. And I was very happy reading it. <laughs> I, but you know what? You know what makes this one. Oh my god! 
Um, you know what makes this fucking great is the fact that somebody actually wrote this shit and they had to think about fucking writing it, man. Right? The no, UFO. All these references and shit. The UFO flying in the air. Sonic.exe. That was great. He's dying while he's like snorting the fucking... Oh my god. It's wonderful. Um, it's fucking brilliant. I don't know. I'd have to say if it wasn't as long, I could score it higher, but I'll give it a... I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I'll give it a dried up cunt out of a 10. I give it a four, 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 banana erection ice cream flavor out of 10. Fuck yeah, it. what the I'll fuck was it, that? I give it a barbarian out of a crusader. This this person did the research, man. This person did the research. Banana erection. Yeah, but uh, as as they said in the beginning, they were going to make this like really awkward for me to read. But yeah, here it is. You did it. Can't, can't believe it. You thought you could scare us off. Yeah, you thought you could scare They almost did, too. <laughs> what, what part was it? Fucking yeah, it was the part. Rape? Yeah, exactly. It was like, we were just like, no, 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 too much. Guess what? It Everything. happened. I don't know. The Aoni and Slenderman kiss like a fucking horny couple at a drive-in theater. These references, man. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. But yeah, what was your favorite part about this? What was the thing that is going to stick in your head when you think of this? Um, probably. It can't be Slendy Teletubby Rape. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely my biggest one because I was reading it and I was like, oh no. No. <laughs> um, probably the part that stuck most in my head. Um, fucking the overt displays of I want you all to gangbang me. Yeah. Uh, mine has to be the one where we all ripped off our skins and revealed us to be different people. Exactly. <laughs> so random. Oh my god. Burps, what about you? I, I think there's uh, this uh, thing full of semen. <laughs> Connor? Hyper realistic semen. Um, Hyper realistic semen. <laughs> Man, that's tough. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, how, how about six, six gangbangs out of a night at Taco Bell? Exactly. Well, this was uh, my little troll pasta. It's quite the uh, troll pasta, that's for damn sure. But um, uh, uh, this is me, Mudahar, and these are my buddies. Hey. And... Oh, man. My name and is Extreme Elixir. My name is Crazy Burberry. Swag. Swag. Swag, swag money. Swag, swag. money, money <laughs> this is Ace of God. Ace of God. And this is Mini Jeff, and this is my fan fiction. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see you all in the next one. Fan fiction every day. This, we'll see you in the next yeah. one. This is all of us, and, uh, we're out. See you guys. Fuck. That was sincerely fucked up. That was, that, was, that, was, that was ten shades of that was fifty shades of fuck no. <laughs> that was <coughs> Anyways, for all of you watching the stream, we're actually gonna end it now. Cause I gotta cut this stuff together and do a bunch of other stuff for now. But I hope you all sincerely enjoyed what we were what we what we read. Now I'm gonna have some really horrible nightmares about what we saw. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> They need to clean their computers after reading that. Maybe. Need to deep clean. Have a shower. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we'll uh, see y'all later. Uh, I hate always ending these because nobody wants it to end, but we got to, so we can get I this know, work right? done. I know. They're like, no, read us more, and you're just like, nah, I can't. See you guys later, man. Thanks for sticking around. We love you all. All of you. Man, that was the most. No, it is me, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you later.